NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, is the U.S. government's oldest scientific agency. NOAA's work reaches from the bottom of the sea to the surface of the sun. To 172 foot in length, um, she's uh, in a fine, fine research ship. Um, she is on a year contract to the U.S. government right now, performing fisheries and ecological studies on the west coast of the United States. She's getting ready to depart for a one-month voyage um, out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean to study the debris. Um, donut hole plastic uh, issue that's resulting is a, is a lot of the, of the debris from around the Pacific Ocean is accumulating into one area they feel is a, is a, is, can be a, an ecological disaster. So she's going to go out and study that. Which is going to be, there will be about 25 to 30 people on board for the next month. She has a 9,000 mile range and so that won't be an issue but she'll be away from uh, port services uh, for well over a month, close to 35 days, with 30 people in the middle of the Pacific, so you need to take all your parts and spares with you. It's a very reliable ship. She's CPP propulsion and variable pitch. She can just cruise along at a half a knot, or you can do a solid 10 knots. She's very fuel efficient. She uh, burns less than 800 gallons per day, which is for a 172 foot ship of this size and worldwide capabilities is very efficient. Very quiet, very smooth running ship, and beautiful lines, one of the prettiest research ships in the world to date. Very expensive to rebuild, a, a, to, to create a new uh, asset like this with a lot of fare and camber to the decks and, and fairing to the hull and to the bow to the stern lines. Very, it's a, it's a pretty ship. Large back deck area, um, which can be used for science work, it can be used for submarines, ROVs, and if you decided that you wanted a little bit less, you could, it would be a great area for large lounges and so forth. The ship smells fresh. It smells like it's ship getting ready to go to sea. It's got paint and, you know, the stores coming aboard and people preparing her, you can tell. And uh, we carry marine mammal observers. We always are, you know, for some of our projects. And they use this area and then on top of the pot house for whale watching and protected species. Um, um, notations and making sure that we're we're uh, integrating that data along with our fisheries and our ecological studies. Beautiful lines. I mean gorgeous, gorgeous lines. Whether it's a research ship or a yacht or or, 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 or a combination vessel, you know, it's uh, it's rare to have that feel. You feel how the bow flows down and the and the pilot house rounds out. It's a beautiful, beautiful vessel. And uh, hydraulic driven anchor winch. The chains are a little rusty now, but the vessel's in class fully. has a U.S. Coast Guard certification, which is rare, on top of it as a passenger vessel and, and research vessel. And then she also has ABS load line and ABS class. So all her machinery is cared for and maintained to the highest standard. And uh, many a mile, you know, many a, <laughs> an ocean expedition has been has been witnessed and, and experienced from this location, standing right here, all over the world. Nice boat. This is a nice boat. We have this cherry flooring in here and all the electronics. She's just a, she's set up for. And of course, if, if you convert her over to a yacht, this would be a beautiful, beautiful area for that. You could put a big set T area back in here and, and uh, you could turn this into a very, a, a, a nice integrated pilot house uh, lounge area here. They use this for navigation, for survey. Here's an integrated uh, control and maintenance system. It monitors the generators and the automation of the machinery generators, main engines. What a great area for a sky, you know, sun deck. And, you know, with the bimini up here and looking down over the bow, we're above the pilot house here. Good height, great visibility. She's got life rafts because she can carry up to 45 people on board. She meets passenger ship criteria for her number of life rafts that she carries port and starboard. Science cranes and science equipment, a number of hard bottom inflatable launches on here that are used. But primarily the A-frame is used for science, for deploying scientific tools, ROVs, AUVs over the stern. Uh, 
and then she has other various uh, A-frames that, that go off the side, they're J-frames, they're single-legged J-frames, and those are for deploying scientific instrumentation for water quality and current and salinity and coring devices and that type of thing off either side, port and starboard. Wet lab for wet lab species and bringing fish and, and uh, salinity samples and anything to do with anything that's wet and, and caustic aboard. Uh, set up for uh, chemicals. This is where it's happening in the galley. See, see about 25 to 30 people in this area, so that works well. Number of staterooms up here, four to the dining area, the galley, and the dining area. And then, of course, your bosun's locker and deck machine shop here. Being used right now for Perry. She leaves in just a few hours for this next mission, and she's has been uh, at sea for about five months working and just came in a few days ago and she leaves tomorrow, uh, refuels and leaves tomorrow for that 35 day mission out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and then she'll come back and immediately go back on another mission for another four months. So uh, highly, highly uh, reliable vessel. Yeah, yeah. she carries I think 50,000 of fuel for 45 days, at least 45, 50 days. That's, that's well over 12,000 miles. Over 10,000. At 240 miles a day. The main engine room. Where you've got two main engines and then the two generators and the control space. The heart of the ship. She has multiple water makers. Obviously, twin screws, CPP propellers. Three generators. Mm -hmm. So she can run on either one of these generators and they're large capacity, but a lot of science, she so can support a lot of science and mission related equipment. In class, it's, she's load lined in class uh, with a certificate of inspection by the Coast Guard on top of it. It's a very thorough set of regulatory uh, inspections and permits to operate. Here's the main monitoring station right there. Subsea science winch, and this is also her trawl winch, so she can do this handles her trawl cables as well as uh, some science cabling. Yeah, multiple systems for everything. These ships are meant to go offshore long distance, you know, and carry out their mission. There's the government walks out to the starboard side as you head out from the freshwater out into the towards the Pacific and once you go through those locks, you drop about 20 feet and you ultimately can go to a thousand different anchorages, one every night if you wanted to, and uh, it's a wonderful area up in the Pacific Northwest, Jim.